What's going on YouTube? SciGuy29 coming at you here. Welcome to the Cardboard Pub. This is Crafts and Cards, episode 67. Hope that everything's going well for you. Uh, life's good. New grandpa. Fantastic. Uh, things are going well. Um, got another new beer for you tonight. Something a little different tonight for the cards. And uh, yeah, we're, we're cranking down the days, you know, in December and... Um, I've only got one week left till Christmas break, so things are going good there. That's a, a definite bonus. Uh, so, you know me and my dark beers. Uh, tonight, we've got uh, a Westo Cocoa Peanut Butter Milk Stout. And uh, I've done the regular Cocoa Stout, and they had a variety pack of different uh, versions of their Milk Stout, so this was one of them. And... Uh, Good stuff. Um, I've not tried this one yet. I was hoping it was going to tell me a little more about it. I should have looked into that, but it didn't. So we're going to give this a shot. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what it looks like. Got my winter ale, winter brew shirt on. The bottom it says, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a beer. So very appropriate. Um, let's get this poured. Oh yeah, look at that. That's looking good. Got the flying monkey glass there. Now this brewery, uh, West O, uh, West O stands for West Okaboji, uh, up by Spencer, just north of Spencer, Iowa, in what we call the Iowa Great Lakes region. Uh, it's by far the best brewery in northwest Iowa, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so if you're ever up there, stop in, try them out. Good stuff. This is their peanut butter Cocoa Stout. Put that back there. Cheers. Here's a light test. That's good. Good. Uh, you get the cocoa up front. Definitely get the peanut butter at the end. Um, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes you find the peanut butter porter or a peanut butter stout and it's god awful. I can't lie. Um, this one's good. This one's got a good good flavor. It's, like I said, it's got the peanut there at the end mixed with the cocoa. So definitely a good combination if you like chocolate and peanut butter, which I do. Who doesn't? I mean, come on. So cheers. All right. For the cards, like I said, a little something different tonight. I have this box of 2020 Tops Holiday which I got last year. I love this product. I think they're just cool. Uh, they're inexpensive. Uh, picked this up, been saving it for a year. Haven't been anywhere to get any this year. Uh, seen pictures, looks all right. So pretty pretty solid, easy product to, to get behind. Um, you do get one relic, auto or auto relic per box. And uh, does not want to come off. So here's the front of the box. And there's an example of the relic you could get. So, uh, this is, uh, what is this, 10 packs? 10 packs, 10 cards per pack. So it's a pretty good value, I think, uh, going to it. So there they are inside. Can't see them very well. Let's get those out. And I love this one because with it you get an ornament. So, oh, look at that. My twin, Max Kepler. That works out well. I do have the Juan Soto of that as well and a couple others. But I uh, love that one. I need to get me a baseball card tree. I do have, uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, Pacific had some ornament cards as well uh, that I'd love to get. So, let's go ahead and open these up see what we get. Like I said, pretty basic looking cards, but I uh, do have the holiday theme. So we have a uh, Brian Reynolds Rookie Cup, Cody Bellinger, uh, Jake Rogers. Here's what the backs look like if you're wondering. Oops, do that a little better, a little differently there. A little better for you. Nothing out of sight. Jan Mankata. Victor Robles Rookie Cup. 
Nick Castellanos. George Springer when he was still with the Astros. Strasburg. Mike Clevenger. And Keston Hura. Rookie Gold Cup. It's a nice little start. Like I said, it's a pretty short set. I don't even know. I should know what it is, but I'm not sure what the set is. Uh, there goes the box. Hope I don't need that again. Um, and they usually have some uh, holiday themed cards as well. So let's see. We have hey, it's a Shohei Otani. the Chris Bryant. Luke Voigt. Hit the Yankee spot here. Miguel Andahar. Josh Bell. J.D. Martinez. A.J. Puck, Iowa guy from Cedar Rapids. The rookie, should be a rookie card, yep. You got an Acuna. Matata. The rest of this, I don't know, however you say that guy, Aquino from the Reds. Also a rookie card there. Followed it up with Jose Urena. Uh, Marlins. Hope everybody's doing well. Like I said, it's finally chilled off here. Um, first couple days of December here, we were in the 60s, so it's finally feeling a little more like Christmas. We have the Kyle Sager. And a Vlad Jr. Rookie Cup. Gold Cup. Ryan Zimmerman. I gotta pick up the pace here. Ramon Laureano. Chris Sale, Louis Severino, Mitch Hanniger, Jake Odorizzi, wish the Twins still had him, Trey Turner, and Kyle Tucker. Probably won't do this whole box, as you know, I'm already a little over, almost seven and a half minutes, so we'll uh, get this thing full. I like it also, packs are easy to open. Uh, it's nice. Collation's pretty good, as you can tell. Haven't had any doubles up, uh, which is a good thing. We got Joey Birdie, Mitch Garver. Oh, looks like we maybe have our relic in this pack. Who we got here? Jack Mayfield, Zach Gallon. No, no. He's got a Mike Trout turn. Oh, not sure why he was turned the other way, but there's Mike Trout. Hitting some of the big ones. Nick Senzel. Will Castro. Zach Greinke. Oh, I saw something there. Never mind. There's the Greinke again. Nico Horner. And follow that up with a Rizzo. Wish Rizzo was still with the Cubs. Um, was lucky enough to see him play when he was with the Iowa Cubs. And he hit the longest home run I've ever seen down at Principal Park in Des Moines. Uh, their scoreboard's in right, right center field. And he hit one over the corner in right center field. It was still going up when it left. Uh, the, the Des Moines River is across. There's a, the Principal Park is the wall. Then there's a gate where, like, the grounds crew stuff is. Beyond that's a street, an embankment, and then the river. It landed on the... You couldn't see it land on the embankment toward the river. So it was a shot. It was, like I said, by far the the uh, farthest one I've ever seen. Now, the second farthest was probably uh, Sean Dunstan hit one to left field that cleared what's called the Cub Club. They have a restaurant out there, and it cleared that one out into the parking lot. So... Here, let's see. We have a uh, Domingo Leba. Here's my man Nelson Cruz. I wish the Twins would re-sign him. Love Nelson Cruz. Here's a Josh Hader. Clayton Kershaw. Blake Snell. 
Shout out to MP Fox. Little uh, Gregory Planko. Will Smith. Shout out to G's Mikey with his Dodger there. We got uh, Brandon Crawford. Josh Donaldson for my twins. Shout out to Dustin and Blake on that one. Patrick Corbin. Hope when I get to the. Don't want to make this a 15 minute video, but the way things are going, it might have to be. So let's see. Keep cranking here. Matthew Boyd. Walker Bueller. Love watching him throw. Oh, here we got it. So we have a Kittel Marte. We got our relic card here. We'll save that for last. Louis Urias. Love that leg kick. As a coach, I don't. But uh, what are you going to do? Cheers. Kevin Biggio. Brewster Gratterall. Another guy I wish the Twins still had. Eloy Jimenez. And our relic. A back card of Rafael Devers. So I think I'm going to cut it there for tonight. I'll, if I hit anything big in the next four packs, I'll be sure to let you know. So, till next time. Hope everything's going great. Happy holidays. Remember, collect what you love. Love what you correct. Collect. I have not been drinking other than this, I promise. Cheers. <laughs>